Thank you so much for showing up. Um, I just really wanted to kind of call this gathering together uh, just to say that I'm sorry. I was not intentionally trying to put you in a position that made you fear for your life. And I know I did. Same goes for you. I know that you're recovering from an injury, but um, hold on. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. And moving forward, I promise, I promise to do better. Thanks for coming. Uh, oh, geez. Oh, I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm going to need you either. wagons not as popular here in America but they should be because wagons are great when it comes to dogs actually this one in particular makes a great alternative to a crossover yes you lose out on some of the height but there is still some great space back here Andy let's show them seats fall down basically flat and that is a huge plus more comfortable for a pet and if you're traveling and need the extra space you can always get a roof box expandable box the plus with a wagon you don't need a ladder to reach the roof this thing's got a sturdy floor so if you use a crate or your pup just has some weight it's not gonna bend and get misshaped a higher end carpet makes for quicker vacuuming and dog hair removal. Although you can get a cargo mat accessory for 150 bucks. You might want to get that. What do you think? Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Automatic tailgate with self lock feature. So you can just tap it and walk away rather than have to fumble with a key. And because it's low to the ground, that much safer to enter and exit. And if you're worried about your dog scratching your car, you can get a bumper cover, 135 bucks. Come on, let's go. No rear privacy shades in here, but you know what? These tints not only look good, but they do a pretty good job of shielding out some of that extra sunlight. Durable leather on these seats, great for those doggy seat riders. Also easy to wipe down and keep clean, but yes, it is light. So get that leather cleaner out because you're gonna need it, but at least it's gonna look good after you clean it. Which by the way, very comfortable second row seat. Leg room on the sides is great, but you do have a hump in the middle. And yes, large window, more light, makes it a little hotter back here. So summer months, you may need to close the shade a little bit more frequently, but there is something very special back here that's gonna help with that. You not only have rear temperature controls, that's right, there's four zone climate in here, but you also have side vents. The reason why this is so great is because if your dog sits here or even back there, that airflow is gonna hit them right in the face. And if you pack out the leg room area, let's say you're going on a trip and you block these vents, you still have airflow. I was not expecting to see this in the V60. I thought they were only in the V90. So this was a fantastic surprise. Imagine if some of the other manufacturers took the same lead and we started to see it in sedans and crossovers. That would be a huge game changer. So thank you, Volvo. Plus, it's very easy to adjust the rear climate from up there. Second row, jack it up. And you know how an airplane pilot has to go through all these checklists before they can actually take off? Well, when you turn this on in here, check that out. You are reminded of all the safety tech this V60 is equipped with. Also, because of its lower stance, your fur kid is gonna feel that much more stable and secure riding around in this thing. So Andy, what do you say? Let's take this for a drive. So when I think of Volvo, I think of safety. And you saw when I started this thing up, the list of features that pop up, 
there is a lot going on behind the scenes, which honestly gives you a sense of confidence when you're driving. Between the blind spot monitor, collision avoidance, large animal pedestrian detection, we know that works. Lane keep assist, driving alerts, automatic braking. It goes on and on. The build feels solid. It feels incredibly planted. It has all wheel drive with instant traction and pair that with its comfort. This wagon is really quite nice. And even though I'm used to driving a crossover sitting higher up, this feels very natural. It's not super long and it's easy to maneuver around. And because Andy is so comfortable back there, it always makes me question, maybe I should get a wagon as my own daily driver. I do love the height of a crossover SUV, but when you see how comfortable your dog is back there and there's still so much space, you start to think, hmm, maybe we can make this work, especially if you get a roof box. The power feels great. It feels very appropriately matched for this vehicle. The drive mode button down here, which is absolutely beautiful. Push it and look what you got. Eco comfort, dynamic, off-road at low speeds. And I gotta say, this V60 is a major head turner. I've been catching a lot of people doing a double take. Wagons have come a long way, way more sleeker, but there are still some out there that remind me of an engorged tick. Not Volvo. I really think Volvo has an edge when it comes to exterior design. The sharp lines on this thing are so distinguished and elegant. And because this has the exterior styling kit, you get brushed stainless steel. And it even says cross country. Now that is some good looking sides. And the dual tailpipes, it's all about symmetry. Always looks better with two. Overall, sporty, chic, in my opinion, it's one of the nicest looking wagons on the road today. What do you think, Andy? Now, Volvo sells some accessories to help protect your fur kid while in motion. A harness, this cage thing in the back. For this video, I'm using the Smarty Paws harness. Oopsies, I meant to say Sleepy Pod. Although Smarty Paws might be a more clever name. I've been experimenting with that one. You've seen it in some of my other videos. The main purpose of the harness is to prevent your dog from becoming a projectile in the event of a collision. And the reason why I don't like containing Andy in the rear alone is because with the seats up, it's too hot. Not enough airflow. In the cooler months, maybe not as big of a deal, but when it's hot, she needs the AC. Furthermore, she likes to see forward when we're driving, so ideally a 40-20-40 split would make this V60 a bit more dog friendly. That way I could leave the sides up and just plop down the middle, like we see in the larger Volvo wagon, the V90. Now this does have a little hatch door that you could peep through. It's not really big enough for this purpose. But aside from that, when it comes to this overall interior, Volvo's clutter-free design will make any clean freak get excited. Between the leathers, trims, stitching, beautiful vents, wood, it has got that luxury feel. But if you want an even more luxe experience, you can get it with the luxury package, 2200 bucks, and get something like a back seat massage. Ooh, oh, la la. But something that all these models have in common, oop, the infotainment screen. Now there has definitely been some criticism when it comes to this thing. Laggy, too touch centric, all the fingerprints, not enough hard buttons. I get it and I agree, but I will say the colors are more vibrant in here than in my personal XC90. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. However, it is a small screen. You saw that in the last Volvo video, which is a bit of a disappointment because some people's phones are almost bigger than the projection on the screen. However, the backup camera in here is really good. Look at the parking lines, the sensors, the multiple views, all good stuff. And when you tap this, you can adjust the passenger seat using the driver's seat controls. Really convenient. You're not gonna have to run around and move things around. Now this has the upgraded audio system, Bowers and Wilkins. We have that in our personal Volvo and it is absolutely a delight listening to music. It's expensive, four grand, but 
When you look at what other manufacturers are charging for their audio system, it's actually priced fairly well. Now, speaking of price, it has a luxury price tag with all of its current packages. It's just under 60K, and that doesn't even include the doggy accessories that I'd wanna buy. So if this is in your budget, you're looking for a wagon, or even if you've been shopping for a crossover, I highly recommend you check this out, especially when it comes to dogs. Big thanks to Volvo for letting us lab test this 2020 V60 cross country. Oh, Andy, oh, I don't even have to ask the question. It is totally lab approved. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel, click the bell so you know when our next video goes live, follow Andy on Instagram to see pics of this all week, and we'll see you next time. Bye.